This guy turned $150 into over half a million dollars in revenue for his business. We're going to dive into the Crazy Good Marketing Podcast right now. Let's... What's going on, guys? Dino Gomez here. Welcome back to another episode of the Crazy Good Marketing Podcast, where we sit down with industry influencers and figure out what is a crazy, awesome, off-the-wall marketing strategy that they are using that you can use as well to grow your business. Today, we are sitting down with the man, the myth, the legend himself. I got to see him a few weeks ago in New Orleans, Mr. Terry Samuels. Terry, how you doing, bud? Doing awesome. Thank you for having me. Very excited. Uh, yep. Good to see you again. We need to good go back to Nola. We need to go back. I gained several pounds when I was in New Orleans. I weighed myself like three pounds in like four days. Food was amazing. Company was amazing. Your event was spectacular. Thank but you. yes, and today though, I'm so excited about this because this is this is insane. You invested $150, which we're going to dive into right now, and it produced, you said closer to like $600,000 in revenue I think mm -hmm. we're all on the edge of our street uh, of our seat right now going, this is crazy. What did you do? Well, we have um, our family vehicle is a um, 2010 Nissan Pathfinder. And we bought the vehicle. And the first thing I wanted to do was put some just some advertising on the back window, just a little bit about what Salterra does, you know, um, some different things. The first window was very basic um it brought a lot of revenue but it didn't really have any kind of pizzazz and plus it was mostly around seo and so when we redid the window about six months later we included web design adwords marketing the whole nine yards um put a call tracking number on it and Ooh, within, a first, within real, the first oops. real real quick there terry just for for some of our guests out there um this is this is rad so what we're talking about here is that you put decals on the back of your car that are advertising and otherwise i assume have your website address you run a digital agency and yeah. and so you're you're marketing your agency from the back of your car is that is exactly that right? that's facts yes sir okay all right so you run a terry runs a digital agency and on the back of your car you started with one decal and then it sounds like you upgraded the decals and brilliant Tell us about this call tracking number and what that does and how, well, how that works. Yeah, the there. call tracking number, obviously, anybody that calls this um, window decal, whatever we put on the back, um, it, it's the only, the only way to get a hold of that call tracking number. It actually, um, it, th it throws them into a semi type of funnel, um, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's really difficult because of the text, text message aspect of it. But yeah, it's a call tracking number. We take out, we take our phone calls from it. Um, you know, obviously call transcripts, everything. Um, some of them are screaming at me because of the way I drive or something, but most of them are most wait, of wait, them wait, are wait, wait. business is, lead. So is, is that part of the strategy? Is like you put decals on the back of your car promoting your your business and your website, and then you just drive like a maniac so that people call you initially upset and then you flip it around on them once you have them on the phone you get them calling you first and then you're like well hey i can make it up to you i can grow your business or i'm just joking but yeah yeah and, and we don't get too many of them i mean there's some you know it's kind of a it's kind of a silly strategy but you know when you're in a three car lane you want to drive in the center lane you know so both cars can see you when you go by you know you kind of speed up and get in front of contractor trucks you know, plumber trucks and H HVAC trucks. And um, so there's a little bit of strategy to kind of putting yourself out there. But I figured if I'm driving anyways, I might as well be marketing. So, so this is ridiculous. This is rad. This is crazy good marketing. We, we're even talking about how to drive and which lane to drive in here to maximize the decals on your car. Let's let's take a peek at what these decals look like um, here. And so I'll, I'll try and share my my screen right now and pull up what what terry has but let me know if you can see this on my screen there terry yep, i can see it so this is terry's pathfinder and his website right at the top salterasite.com a nice benefit driven statement there right affordable design and development 
the biggest text I see here, right, is the, I'm assuming that's the call tracking number. Yes. I love that. And then I love the branded, um, you know, your your license plate as well. Like you're you're really showing that you're all in. This is this is what you do. You're an expert here. Exactly. No, it's interesting too, right? Is is it's I think it's so cool that you're a Navy veteran. Uh, we appreciate your service. Um, you. And I, you know, having that as well. I think those those decals, those stickers are are also rad um, because it's showing who you are. Mm -hmm what you stand for and so forth. And so somebody that has uh, similar beliefs and so forth is going to be like, Oh, this is my guy right here. Um, so I think that's smart. So tell us, okay, do you, do people more visit your website or would they mostly call you from, from seeing your car or kind of how, how do you see that? Um, I mean, it's really a mixed bag. I've seen people take a picture of my window from, you know, looking in the rear view mirror. I see people take a picture of it. Um, and I'll ask people about it. Hey, did you just take a picture of my, my window? And they're like, oh yeah, I did. You know? So, um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, and we've even had questions like, you know, I've had questions, you know, like what is SEO? And so I'll have to explain SEO, you know, while we're, while I'm driving down the phone, hands-free, of course, I stay legal. Um, not, not really, but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, but it, it is a mixed bag. You know, one of the, one of the reasons why I think we started doing better with the, um, with the decals was we got away from SEO. SEO, in my opinion, is like one of the hardest things in the world to sell. Mm -hmm. um, you know, websites are pretty much very simple to sell. And so SEO just happens to be a second phase of that, you know, and AdWords and other stuff. But um, so we probably get most of the calls are around websites. Um, we probably about 30 percent are around SEO. But I would say, yeah, it, over half are about websites. Can we fix a website? You know, can we, you know, you know, can we redo a website? All this other stuff. And um, and yeah, the Navy veteran is big. I get a lot of veterans that call me, um, you know, just because of that. I've had people even call me just to thank you. Thank you for my service, which is that's pretty cool. Um, another great thing is we take it to California. We were in San Diego about six months before COVID hit. And mm -hmm. I got two leads the first day we were in California. So I love it. It just made the whole trip now a tax write off and I didn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> I love that. And we'll, we'll talk more about like event tax write offs and, and, and things of that. Cause that's, that's cool as well. But, but notice, did you guys notice for those listening in what Terry said there, right? Primary service is SEO, but SEO is tougher to sell. So what is primarily marketed that he figured out with this decal on the back of his car right, is the easier sell, the foot in the door, which is websites. So regardless of what industry you're in, think about what is the front end offer that people are going to want that can start the discussion. And of course, you can upsell with back end services. So there's there is stra there's strategy going on here. He's weaving in between traffic mm -hmm. um, and he's yeah, putting himself gotta, in the middle lane. <laughs> you got to park in the right spot of parking lots. There's, you know, you park where like where people are coming out the door. So everybody sees the back of your truck. <laughs> There's all kinds of weird things. Elizabeth gives me a bunch of crap about, you know, what are you parking over here for? So people can see the back of my truck. <laughs> I love it. I mean, you're out, you're going to the grocery store anyways, guys. This is a way to grow your business passively because yeah. he's, he's, he's going to the grocery store. He's traveling. He's driving around. He's running errands. He's doing things. You might as well market your business while doing it. Um, and it's memorable because sitting in traffic, Right. The reason I love this, it's such a simple concept, but it's so smart. It's a low cost investment and it yields as massive results. Let's talk about the decal. If if I can ask you about this, did you order this online? Put it on yourself. Where would somebody go to do something similar if they wanted to kind of duplicate this strategy? Um, Elizabeth did the artwork. She's the graphic artist. And we just submitted it to um, like Signorama or one of those places that does that type of stuff. Um, I did, I did some of this type of stuff on my vehicle when I was doing real estate, but we did the magnets and I found out real quick that magnets can actually take the paint off your vehicle if you leave mm -hmm. them on. So when we did the decal thing, we had to, we went to a couple Sinorama type places, um, you know, kind of shopped around and they average nowadays anywhere from 150 to 250, depending on, you know, the colors and, you know, all that stuff. But, um, you know, yeah, it's a, it's just a local thing. We dropped it off in the morning. It was done like three hours later. And, you know, I'm 
going through the center of traffic again. <laughs> so. I, I love it. So guys, this is $150, $250 investment. Uh, you don't have to replace it that often. I, and I've, I've tried the magnets before. I used to, our family used to do the, a magnet of the American flag on the side of all, all of our cars. And then people would figure out their magnets and they would just rip it off. Mm -hmm. um, so the decal is definitely the way to go. And so let's, let's, uh, let's wrap this up in terms of um, the landing page. Like if there's a web address, is that your actual website or is that like a, a, a email capture page where it's optimized as a landing page or no, it is it's strictly the home page of my website, uh, my agency site. I've got, you know, 10 or 12 different lead gen systems. But when I started this, I just did the main website. Um, and now I kind of like it because of the traffic, obviously, um, you know, traffic always wins. So I don't know that I would change it and put it on a landing page per se, like you would a pay-per-click, um, system, but, um, I just, yeah, just where it just goes to the homepage. And then obviously we track everybody once they hit the, hit the site anyways. So I love it. This isn't crazy. The $150 marketing budget per se, if you guys have that right, $150, $200 into, um, a car decal, right, to your website and Terry Sells Agency Services. And so um, your services, real quick, they range in price from? Um, SEO, anywhere between $1,850 to $5,000. Um, that's not, I do a lot of franchise SEO. That's not franchise. And then our websites are anywhere from $2,500 to $50,000. So um, it, it just ranges. <clears throat> and we have our own hosting company. So a lot of times when Elizabeth fixes websites or whatever, we'll end up hosting them. And that's a whole nother revenue stream. I love it. This is brilliant. This is genius. This is the crazy good marketing podcast, guys. Again, very simple to implement strategy here, but strategic. Terry's parking in certain spots. Terry's driving a certain way. He's going in the middle lane. He's He marketed, right? This is a benefit-driven headline. If you guys saw the screenshot we showed earlier of the back of Terry's car, Great call to action, very clear, easily read, call tracking number as well. So you can actually track the business that comes from this car de decal. Terry, this is this is my type of marketing, my man. It's simple, strategic, effective, scalable. Amazing, amazing. Not, I, I do not Thank see you. enough car decals or anybody taking advantage of this. So uh, you are a genius in so many different lights. I really enjoyed hanging out with you in New Orleans, of course. Um, and you have so many different strategies, so much experience. You're an absolute uh, genius, my man. And so appreciate your very, very valuable time here today, sharing something cool with us. Um, where can we get in touch with with you? Uh, where can our guests get in touch with you to learn more about uh, about you, and, and so they can hire you if they want some help with some other amazing marketing stuff? Um, yeah, just my um, just my website's fine. You can reach out on Facebook to me. Um, just fair warning, you know, my Facebook wall is pretty crazy. Um, so <laughs> just, what are you talking if, about? If you get offended, don't friend me on Facebook. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, just get a hold of me. Obviously, you can call my tracking number, and then I'll give you an actual number <laughs> if you want to. So, um, but yeah, the website's the fastest way to get a hold of me and Facebook. I answer Messenger, um, that type of thing. So. Amazing. So Terry Samuels, look him up on Facebook. Um, of course, you can visit his uh, website as well, salterasite.com. The links will be beneath this video for you guys. But go go connect with Terry. Really awesome dude. Host one of the best industry mastermind events there is. We were just in New Orleans a few weeks ago. It was incredible. Again, I gained like three or four pounds in like four days. New Orleans food is amazing, but we had a ton of fun. Great crowd there. So thanks again for hosting that. And thanks again, buddy for sitting down, sharing uh, this amazing wisdom with us. For everybody out there, guys, um, this is the end of this episode, but be sure to catch us next time where we sit down with another industry influencer who's going to share with us a crazy good marketing story. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys.